Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel Duffy Scrapping. I am here to bring you a layout that I'm about to pop together for Mixed Media Mayhem. And this uh, Friday, Jesse from Jesse B Scrapbooking has picked the recipe and it is stamps, modelling paste and tissue paper. I've got one stamp I'm going to use. I've got modelling paste and I've got a little bit of tissue paper. Now, without further ado, I'm going to be playing along with day three of Scrap Squad, 12 days of autumn. This is the layout. I'm going to pop a few extra bits in though. But that's me. Anyway, let's get down to it. Right. Uh, let's get this. I've stuck it all together, but I just haven't stuck it completely. I missed that little step out, didn't I? Alright, go like that. Like that. I kind of want to pop this down first so that I know where I am popping my stamp in. I've got a green tissue paper and a pink tissue paper. It's going to be very subtle stamping and texture paste today. I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different with the texture paste. Or modeling paste. Now we're going to go over here like so. Right. Got the green mode lawn ink. This is only going to show up very, very subtly. So I'm going to go it's not even that much Just music, like a written sheet of music. And I'm going to go just move it out. Now I'm not using a block so that it's not too high up. I can get my stamping in. Um, I'm going to go over here a bit. Stuff stuck to me everywhere. I think that. I think that's what we'll do with our stamp, our music stamp. Get that a bit of a little push off. Right. Now let's get everything stuck down because I'm going to do the modelling paste very last. 
very, very last. So I want to get all the bits on. got a little little sign here that says good times what I've done is a couple more of the um, my daughter 2019 when they did sing fest her class old oh, grade a couple of grades did sing fest I go like that yeah so these bits I'm gonna pop on first so move underneath I haven't really decided if I want that to go complete. I've just got under that one there. Like that. These are all really old ephemera that I've got, and I thought, let's get on the bandwagon and get all this used up. I don't have many, I'm going to have to hand cut all the, um, cut it up. no that's not quite right, let's cut like that. I'm really struggling today, aren't I? Let's go like that. This one down here. I decided it was going to go in underneath the photo a little. I'm going to have to use some glue for that because it's really thin. That's my glue. So I have these coming out here like so. It's going to lift up every time I lift that up, isn't it? This bit here. So I wanna, it's a dotty about flare flare. I'll show you that up close in a moment. Um, these bits. Now, the only thing I could find to do with music was a little record in a cover. So I'm going to pop that on because it had a bit of pink. I'm going to go there like that. And I had Live Your Dreams for down the bottom. And some foam tape. I'm going to pop that across there like so. 
This the rubber stamp. do this at the very end the actually let's do that one let's do the nouveau drops yeah. i just had a thought that's an afterthought but it's a thought Go around the white there with these little, it's got a tinge of pink to them. Let's go like that. Oh, I need a longer one for that one. down in here I'll go on the record plate or a record there and we'll grab another little flower up here start a good times let's put one at the end as well just something a little bit extra now before this this can be the very last we have <clears throat> the Vicky Booten Fernwood stencil. Okay. Now I'm gonna pop some hopefully I'm gonna pop two on here with texture paste. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to get a little bit of texture paste on my palette knife. And I've got everything else covered over. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, bugger. down in here down in here this doesn't move on me sorry I'm con I'll probably turn it off screen it's two and then I'm gonna do up in here. Okay, there we go. That's my texture paste done, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, pop 
I have cling wrap over my, I now I've lost my lid. There it is. I've cling wrap over my texture paste um, because it keeps it for a lot longer. Now, we need just a clean, I've tested this out before. And I don't want that there. Let's pull some of that off. Now, I have embossing distress embossing glaze, uh, the Kitsch Flamingo. Um, a lady at my store told me this technique. She just pops it over. Right, over the texture paste. So you put texture paste on first. And I just tested it out, so hopefully we should be right. I probably should have put them off first actually. I'm probably gonna have embossing powder everywhere. It's right. Oh no, that's not too bad. We'll do the bottom ones now. A bit more on that. So I'll pop it onto there and then I'm going to pop the excess back into the jar. And this is where we're going to heat it up. So bear with me. I'm going to show you some of this so you've got a bit of noise. Okay, so I've made my, this isn't very thick paper that I've done this on. I did it on the white before. Now, I've actually bubbled that a bit a minute ago, but it's actually dried. So it just dries that, that little bit glittery glazed look on there. Just something subtle. Um, okay, so then we're going to finish off with our Nouveau Drops. So I'll show you close up when I've got it finished.
I'm just going Nouveau drops everywhere and anywhere. Like that, and I'll go three in there, and I'm happy with that. So that's my take on the scrapper sketch. I mean the scrap squad. Um, scrap squad day three. I'll see. If I can get a close up of that. Oh, you can see the stamping there. There you go. Butterflies. Stamping down there, the bottom cluster, just that big one over there, and then the top one. Okay, so that is it for me for the scrap squad, and I have done uh, for Jessie's, which was modeling paste, which I've just done, tissue paper, and stamping. So I've hit the, the thing there. Okay, so if you think you might like this, um, to give this layout a go, press pause, take a screenshot, and have a go. And don't get a mess on your desk like I just have. Probably best to clean modeling paste up straight away. Which I didn't do. Sorry, I'll just take that off before it dries. A little crusty. Done. Um, at the same time, if you do like what I've done, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Um, there'll be other ladies and gentlemen playing along with the Mixed Media Mayhem uh, tonight with this recipe. And I'll have them listed down below in the description box. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed and all my new subscribers. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.